Trying to figure us out. This is Ronnie, and I'm Buddy, and this is Diana, and this is Bob, and Diana is all of our mother. So uh, we're all her kids, but not really. She's pitiful, ain't she? But I'm just going to tell you who we are right quick. It's a pleasure to be here, and if you don't know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I hope today during this service that there'll be something spark you inside and say, I need to come right down there. Because right there is exactly where that you get the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ at. And then you can go to do, this next song we're doing is called On the Sunny Banks. I'm looking so forward to one day when I get to go there, ain't you? Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Where we keep me, shall never try. Oh, sunny banks of sweet deliverance. Happy freedom land, my mortal home. I'm going there to leave. There's a land back. I'm sorry. There's a valley green where the warm winds whisper. Hi. And the master smiles while the children play. All sorrow gone, heavy burdens lifted. For God Himself wipes the tears away. Hi. On the sunny banks of sleep.
Amen. Without God or his son, and he reached down his hand for me. Amen. Yes, he did. Yeah. Within my heart, I know 
someone who's been in the cold. One doing haste, far from the foe. No mountains too steep, and no valleys too far for a shepherd. All of these hearts And over the mountains And ledges he climbs Aware of the dangers But determined to find The one he is seeking With all Free from sin, I'm 
You know, I remember when I was a little boy, our water run out all the time. We had an old well, and it'd just go dry, and it's off this time. It seemed like the, the worst time in the world when you'd go to cooking or something, and you needed the water when it always run out, you know. Mom say, all right, you got to get water. Well, Daddy took, took an old 49 Buick we had. He get an old lard, but no lard can. He had two old lard buckets. Did you ever know what a lard bucket is? Yeah. Yeah. You can't carry them. They got the little pails on the side. They hurt your head. I was a kid. Daddy took me down there to the spring. It was about a mile down the road. I went down there. I jumped out of the car. Well, the head of the spring was about far from here to the door, I guess, from the road. Water come out of that spring, come right down, right down to the road. I jumped out and just jumped down, jumped down there to the branch and was getting my water. And Pap said, no, son, you can't get it here. I said, why? And he said, up there is where the water is coming from. I said, well, Daddy, it's the same water. It just come from right up there. I'm get he said, no, you've got to take it up there and get it up there. You've got to get it right from the head of the spring. Well, I thought, boy, he's got to be wrong. But I'll go ahead and water up there. Well, the weeds is up my waist. I was dragging that old lard can and I was aggravated as I could be. I went and got my water. He did too. We put it in the back seat of that old car and took it home. About a week after that, I was out playing out in the woods and there was a creek out there. And boy, I got so thirsty. And I looked down there in that creek and that water looks good and clean and just clear as it could be and looks so cool. I said, boy, I'm going to get in there. Get me a good drink of this water. And I got down there and laid down and just put my head down there and I sucked up just all I could hold. Boy, it was good. I got up and walking up through there and I thought of what Pap said. He said, you had to drink from right out of the head of the spring. I said, now see, Pap, you didn't know what you was talking about. I ain't had no trouble. I drunk right there and that water was fine. I got on up around the bend a little bit and I got down there and there's an old dead rooster laying in the edge of the spring and his head over in there. And I dropped right off of that, you see. Yeah. Let me tell you something. If you really want good, clear, clean water, go right up here where the fountain is. It's got to go right here, you see. You, you don't want to, I've had people say, boy, I'd like to go to church, but I'm just as good as anybody down there is. I know old Tom down there, and he drinks as much liquor as I do. I know old sister so-and-so, and there ain't a thing in the world to her. She tells the biggest lies ever was. I know this and I know that. But let me tell you something. Come on into the house of the Lord. There's a, a fountain right here that's flowing that's coming from up there on high. And there ain't no dead roosters there nowhere. Let me tell you. You don't have to worry about sitting back there in the back. And all the dead people between you and the, and, the, and the fountain just come right on up here and drink right here at the fountain. If you'll do that, you'll get water that's pure and clean and it'll cleanse and make you white as snow. Did you know that?
mine. Decision. 
she come down there and crawled to the altar and got saved. And you know what? She strayed a little. She's a little rough around the edges. But you know what? When I pray now, he'll say, son, don't worry about her, daddy. She's all right. She's mine now. And you know what? You are. Once you're God's, you're God's. Nobody can sniff you out of that. Do you know what? So there's a crossroad to coming. Why don't you do something about it this morning?
glad to know. I can't keep myself, but God can. And He does.
Beautiful 